All right, let me show you guys something. Let me teach you guys something. something here's a here's a quick lesson with Christy he handled the situation pretty well but I gotta show you what exactly I was thinking in this situation round one this after I got the exdp right you're in this situation where you have them in the corner now when you have somebody in the corner let's see the first thing that I tried to do I more than likely I more than likely because he doesn't have a meter to do wake up dp and because he already got hit hard I I think that I'm gonna throw him I don't exactly remember no no actually sorry let me start over so he doesn't have meter right so I think that the best thing for me to do here is to start off with a meaty button, just to kind of take some gray damage off from him. So let's see what exactly I do here. Because it's either I'm going to throw him or I'm going to do a meaty button. But because he doesn't have meter, I'm going to press a meaty button, get some gray damage from it. And if he if he's a masher, then I'm going to hit him. So it's a, you know, it works out in my favor. So what do I do? Okay, I do the meaty button. Then what do I do? Let's see. All right, I try to take, I try to throw him. Very common because maybe after I, I block, he blocked the stand jab. I thought, well, okay, time to just throw him, get the damage, instead of trying to continue to pursue the the um, the button presses. So I tried to throw him. It didn't work. Now I see this situation happen a lot. This situation right here in Street Fighter Five happens a lot, and in just most Street Fighters in general. But after a throw is teched, right? Look at the position that I'm in and look at the position that he's in. Bam, right there. Like, I have the life lead. He has no bar. He's in the corner. He, he has to deal with these three things and he has a lot of pressure on him. Let's turn on the key display. Okay, so in this situation, you want to stay maybe like a little step back from where I'm at right now. If I took maybe one step back, right? I would be in the best position. Why? Because right now I'm in the Kali stand roundhouse range. And if you're right outside of his fur of your opponent's furthest button range, then your opponent's going to feel very nervous about pressing that attack because right now since I'm standing right here, right? If he presses his roundhouse, I'm going to block it. So he doesn't have as much fear. But if I'm standing right here and he presses his roundhouse, then I can get a free whiff punish. But see, I can dance in this range. The whole point of footsies is that when you have your opponent right here and you're right here, you want to dance in his furthest button range at this situation. Because see, at this point, I can block the roundhouse, right? But if I took a, took a step back, his roundhouse would whiff. So that makes him think twice about pressing that button. He's going to have to think twice about pressing that roundhouse or just in general, any button, because I could clearly whiff punish him right here. Um, so you want to apply this type of pressure, even without even pressing a button for yourself. Okay. So now we're in this situation. Let's see what happens. Ooh, 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 I didn't even remember, but that's exactly what I did took that step back. But you see, the first thing that I did after taking that step back was take a step forward. Let's see that again. Let's see that again. I take that step back, and the first thing that I do, take a step forward. 
See, and then he pressed the button like an idiot. I should have whiff punished him, but I didn't whiff punish him. Let's see what I do right afterwards. I'm dancing in this area. I don't even remember me doing this, but I was dancing in that area. Again, you see, oh my God, that just played out perfectly. I'm low key stroking myself at the moment, but okay. Keep it, keep in mind, if you dance in this area, he's very nervous on pressing a button. He's in the corner and he doesn't have meter for anything kind of random. So the only other option that he has is either to dash at you or to jump at you. But if he jumps at me, I can anti-air DP him or I could back fierce him. So you have to position yourself in the best possible defensive situation, which I'm in right now. If he jumps at me, I'm in the best possible defensive situation to attack him, to punish him. And you have to position yourself in the best offensive situation because if he whiffs a button, I can punish him for it. So after about two seconds of him not doing anything, yes, he can walk forward. He can definitely walk forward, but that's a different layer. I'm talking about just about you at the moment, right? The, the immediate things that you need to be looking out for. <clears throat> okay, so what did I do right here? Let's see what I did. Okay, so yeah, I walked up and I pressed the button. Why? Because I got antsy. This is my mistake. It's my mistake that I walked up and I pressed the button. I shouldn't have pressed this button because if he were to throw out a random crush counter, it probably would have hit me. But because I'm stupid, I walked up and I pressed the button. I should have just been dancing in that area for him to make the mistake. But I walk up and I press the button. Let's see what else I'm thinking of the situation. So he blocks the button. He goes for a reversal V skill. Don't take too much risk. You just walk and block. Right? And then he goes for it again. And then I gotta block it again. But you see where you see where I'm standing? Like this has been five seconds now that I've been standing in this like specific area. But while I'm standing in this area, all of those things are going through my head of like, is he gonna whiff a button? Is he gonna jump? Is he doing this? But I'm positioned in a way where he's still uncomfortable. Now I'm walking too far back. I, this is a huge mistake that I did right here. The right thing for me to do is to immediately get back in that range. But right now, I walked way too far back. This is a problem. I need to go back forward. Do I do that? Yes, I do that. And I stay in that range. Ooh, I dashed. That was a bad dash, but I dash. But maybe because he was just crouching for too long. Apply a little bit of pressure, stand jab, nothing too serious. Just a quick three frame stop. Stand medium kick, that's fine too, just because I'm, I'm plus on stand jab. And then what do I do? At this point, since he blocked again, either I'm gonna try to do walk up throw, or I should just wait for him to make a mistake. The, the, for me to do walk up throw requires me to take a risk. For me to just wait there again, it requires no risk and, and, and puts the risk on him. So the right thing for me to do is to just wait not to go for the walk up throw, but sometimes we, we feel that gut read inside of us that like, oh shit, this just, he's just holding block, go up for the throw, continue to pressure him. And we do that. Let's see what I do. He presses a button. That's a mistake on my end. I could have whiff punished that. I'm walking back. I'm walking back. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in that range right now. I'm just dancing in that range. I'm just dancing in that range. I'm walking up. Am I going to do the walk-up throw? Oh, no. I do the walk-up jab again. Keeping it safe. Keeping it safe. Keeping it safe. What do we do again? Medium kick again. Bam. That's the third time that I've done that sequence. And it's been nine seconds that have passed so far. Nine seconds where he's been in this corner. And look at what he finally did. After nine seconds, he cracked. After nine seconds of just being in that position, he cracked and he dashed. And then he back throws me. Yeah. Bam. Now let's watch that sequence again, okay? Okay, from the 71st second. Now watch it in real time. Oh, 
See that? Let's let's do that one more time. Test attack, stay in this range, stay in this range, shut up, wild or pressure, block, block, keep it safe, walk up, jab, keep it safe, medium kick, keep it safe, stay in this range, stay in this range in case he jumps. Now, do you see why? I know why I got dashed in on, because I was expecting him to, to jump in this situation. Because after the medium kick, I was in that situation where maybe he could try to do jump medium kick. So I was expecting him to jump in this situation. Yeah, yeah, see, sorry. It was it was this, not this one, but... Sorry, yeah. This one right here. The first thing that I do after the medium kick is I hold down down back. Because I was expecting a jump. But, I, but he dashed up and threw, which was a good thing to do on his end. Now watch the second round. The second round, I put him in that same exact situation. Ah, okay. Now watch. He lifts the button. Okay, we're back in the same situation, right? Oops. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry about that. Okay. We're back in this situation. Now, because he was blocking for so long in the beginning, I expected for me to just get away with a walk-up throw. So from the previous round, I remembered that in this situation... He was just blocking so much. So I decided to walk up throw him. And what happens? He did a good counter hit crouching medium punch. See? I even waited a second too for the wake up EXDP. And then he gets me right there. Let's see if I can get him back in that situation. Okay, now he's back in that situation. Let's see exactly what I do. He has about 60% stun in this situation. He has a full bar of critical art. Again, I have the life lead. Let's see what exactly I do. I try to apply some pressure at the moment by walk up throw again, and it worked. This time it worked. Oh, oh no, it did not work. He teched it. Okay, so he teched the throw. Because he's teched the throw, that, that literally lodged inside my mind that he teched the throw. That tells me that I could probably get away with a shimmy against him. So, tech the throw, we're back in this situation where I should be dancing in this area. Let's see what exactly happens. I'm being patient. I'm holding down back for a quick second and then I, again, mistake. This is a mistake. I'm walking up and I'm trying to apply pressure. But understand that in a heated situation like this in Street Fighter V, because my opponent is at 60% stun, one throw is going to get him about... 80% stun and the next throw is going to stun him or the next button is going to stun him. So right now what I want to do as a player is I want to go up and throw him. What I should do is I should chill in this situation and let him make the mistake. Why? Because he has a stun bar that's very high and he has he doesn't have the life lead in this situation. And I'm in a very good position to punish him if he takes a risk. Does he take the throw again? No, he doesn't. He takes the throw. All right. Yeah, see, now this situation is pretty fucked for him. But it's also fucked for me. Look at what he has. All of a sudden, he has V-Trigger. Right now, I should stay away from him. Because I don't want him to activate V-Trigger after he hits me. I want him to activate V-Trigger by himself, like just in neutral, just to activate, or if he presses a button and activates. Okay. Ooh, okay. The reason why I did walk up crouching medium kick into fireball in this situation is because he has V-Trigger ready. So if he wanted to do wake up jab to stop me from wanting to throw him, then I would have gotten him right here and I probably, maybe I would have stunned him if I would have done EX Fireball. But he blocks it. Do I go into the Fireball or do I just keep it like that? No, I don't do anything because the Fireball would have left me negative. It would have left me in a very bad situation and I was very close to him. So I just keep it simple with the low forward. Walk back a little bit. 
Stay in this range. Dance in this range. Pause. Ooh, look at look at the dodge on that. Did you see the dodge on that? Watch the dodge. You want to dance in this range. This is where I would have won if I just whiff punished him. This is the reason why you dance in this range. Look at the, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was a perfect whiff punish stand medium kick into stun. That would have been a perfect whiff punish into stun situation. But again, that's my fault as a player. It's my fault that I did not whiff punish him. So what do I do? Maybe I'm frustrated that I didn't whiff punish him and I might try to attack. There you go. The attack is right there. Right? Okay, here we go, here we go. He activates V-Trigger. This is the best possible way for him to activate V-Trigger for me. This is the best possible situation for me because I don't want him to activate V-Trigger on hit. I want him to just, if you're gonna activate, go ahead and activate. But in this situation, I'm very nervous. I'm very scared because anything can happen. Damn. I'm still dancing in this range. I'm hoping that he jumps, but I'm nervous. He's probably gonna dash up at me. Ooh, 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 the pressure. Oh, see, 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 see? Right there, the, the jump. The jump, right there. By the way, the reason why I threw that fireball was because I knew that he wasn't going to immediately jump. So I, I knew that a fireball right there would be good just to pause him from moving forward in any type of way. Okay, here we go. So I do the walk-up jab to apply a little bit of pressure. You know why? Because his stun bar is at 90% and I wanted to just pause him. Well, it was at 90%. It's at like... 80% at this point, but I wanted him to just feel more pressure. But you see, the way that I do it is just a jab. It's not anything that's very serious. It's not a heavy button. It's not another fireball. It's just a jab. And I wanted him to jump, which is why I stay in this range, perfect range to anti-air him, and then he jumps, and I just, I fucked up. I did not anti-air him. And then this is what happens. And then I and then I lose the I, I lose the round. But yeah, so you see that that's a little breakdown that I wanted to show you guys on like how to maintain corner pressure against your opponents. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, man. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you.